This video is brought to you by the 3 Minute Board Game Patrons. Keep us independent by supporting us on Patreon. Kiara Koto, and welcome to Daybreak in about three minutes. It has a solo mode. It's a game for one to four players, playing time is medium, and it's a moderately complex game. You are world leaders, finally coming to terms with the greatest emergency humanity has ever known. Climate change. Can you pull humanity back from the brink? All players lose if they run out of time, if the missions cause the thermometer to fill up, or if any player has 12 or more communities in crisis. Humanity wins if the missions are reduced to the point where they go into the negative and you survive that round. Card management. There are multiple different sets of cards for you to manage. Set collection. Many cards will have stronger effects with multiple attached icons. Player turn. Start the turn by checking the temperature for how many crisis cards to place. Only place the first crisis face up. Then draw two global project cards and collectively decide which one to pick. Global projects normally start off inert. Each player draws five cards. You can play with your hand open and other players can give advice and you can play in any order you wish. You also start with five projects set up. These are the actions you can take. Let's take the clean electricity action. It says to discard a card from our hand to get one clean power plant per blue symbol here. So we discard a card and add one clean power plant below. You can also play a card on top of another card here, changing what effect is available to use. Note that this card required an orange symbol to play. We can now remove one animal emission per turn. You can also play cards behind an existing card to make it more powerful. Now we have four purple icons on this card, we will draw two extra cards at the start of our next turn. Some crisis cards can be avoided if you play a card on them, and most global projects require cards to activate them. Any player can play cards here. Once you are done, move on to the emission stage. First check demand, and for each point you are short by, add a community in crisis. You then generate one emission point per dirty power plant and emission token. Place your emissions up here in the atmosphere, along with every other player's. Then each point of forestry absorbs one emission, and every point of the oceans absorbs another. Any points left over go to the thermometer. Then remove the emissions on the board. For every full row on the thermometer, place a degree band. Leave the others in play. Note this is for four players. Lower player counts will use less columns. Then check the dice number beside the new band. Here it wants us to roll one disaster die. This die advances these tracks representing ecological damage. If a marker reaches a tipping point icon, resolve that track's effect. They're all bad. Then resolve the crisis cards one at a time. The first one here will add a community crisis because we have one extra temperature band. But we have one social resilience, so ignore this effect. On the third card, however, we have no infrastructure resilience, so gain the community in crisis. This takes us over a threshold, and we will draw one less card next turn. Finally, advance demand and begin the next turn. Why would you like this game? Daybreak, there's a lot of things I really like, but the first big one is to take engine building mechanics you would normally see in a competitive game like Terraforming Mars and bring them into a cooperative space. But it's not just lifting and dropping those mechanics in. The way Daybreak break is structured, you can pivot and change focus quickly, and you must take into account the needs of other players. Because the players are so totally unbalanced, and that's wonderful. The majority world player simply has a worse position and more needs than the other players, and the US and Europe players need to help them, which is so damned clever. Anyway, I'd recommend this for any group into cooperative games. The best thing about this game is only having five projects in play means you have to play smart and play combos and pivot, not just throw the most cards on the table. However, this is 100% a cooperative game, and that means one shady person can ruin its fun. It's also very well researched and grounded in hard climate science, which will offend some people. And I suspect that after a few plays, it might get a bit easy to beat, even with some extra difficulty cards. For a different take on climate, try CO2. And for another great game by the same designer, try Thunderbirds. Daybreak. I really want to play this game in Parliament. Gold medal game. And if you enjoyed this video, hit the notification button, like, share, and subscribe to the channel.